Alright, YouTube, what is good? What's going on? You see by title of the video, what this is, and definitely what it is. So, we're gonna go ahead and my boy, I'm Jingle. You guys need to say the people real quick, say what's up to him, anything like that. Always remember, you cannot forget the jiggle about the wiggles. Alright, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what kind of gear I'm rocking. Oh, the back. The Finny mods don't matter, and the tactical mods don't matter since you're not allowed to stay no spots for them with the PvP gear. Yes, I do got full um, Android, but I do got some Gotham Knight on as well. Okay. Normally, for the, um, say if I'm dueling, you know, you gotta get that old Mac trinket. Maybe spy drop, maybe sidekick if y'all are using it. But for the most part, you know, you gotta stay with your trusty breakout trinket, okay? It's pretty much the only one you can use, anyways. Now, even for dueling, you know, transformation cards, strategy cards, always good things to have. Since I am a healer, Demon Fang's also a pretty good one to use for healing. Um, well, just for dueling and whatnot. Since artifacts don't matter when you're in the um, instances for PvP, the arenas or the legends. <coughs> But if you don't want to use Demon Fang, you're always more than willing to use like the norm or maybe even Scrap the Soul if you have a couple Supercharger sneak in there. Um, the Lamort card, maybe if you have a couple of finishers. Other than that, maybe. Maybe the HUD artifact? I don't know. That would be kind of iffy. I would just say stay with the norm, Transformation Strategy card, probably your best bet, honestly. Um, my Demon Fang can get a little bit extra. And a little bit of rest though. So if you're a healer, more than welcome to use that, of course. <clears throat> but look, without further ado, man, let me go ahead and show you my stats. Okay, let me show you stats. Oh, look. With the health, the power. Okay. How much is that? Light. Uh, might, resto, bite, precision, toughness, dominance. Okay, and our PvP combat rating, okay? Now, Artifacts, um, well not artifacts, allies, I mean, my apologies, y'all. Allies don't matter. These would be, these are what I would consider to be your ideal ones if you are like dueling or whatnot, just because you are getting the block counters, um, so they do heal you when you do counter somebody, so it rewards you in a sense for countering them. Um, Batman Who Laughs is just amazing, the cyborg just does a lot of damage, so it's pretty much that. Now on to the skill point usage. Um, to be honest with y'all, just max out. I use martial arts, so that's what I used to use back in the day. I like the idea that your character knows martial arts. So hey, yeah, martial arts are pretty good. Now, I might change my weapon in the future. That's why I haven't bought the new weapon yet. Just because, hey, who knows. But um, pretty much get all of them just because it depends on what kind of opponent you are fighting. You never know what kind of scenario you need. Um, for the whole like master thing, what kind of moves you're able to get off and things of that nature. So just to keep it up in the air, keep it spicy, I guess. You know, we should keep all that. Okay. I don't expect into much else besides the uh, weapon mastery skill trees I'm required to. But I do when it comes to pretty much all the abilities. Once again, because you don't know who you're going up against, and just make PvP fun. I pretty much have every ability you can use with skill points. So my whole movement tree is maxed out. Okay? Get the breakouts, of course, because you know you want the extra power and resistance to uh, in control. Um, of course, speed drain, metabolic boost, always good things to have just for cheap food turners that are really useful and effective. Um, where others probably won't really use. This Vortex Trap is one of the most OP things in DC PvP at the moment. Just because it does a good amount of damage. It does uh, significant damage, less than Royal and Dervish, of course. But it's not blockable, as you see. It's not blockable, it's not interruptible, it's not anything. So you're just thinking of doing damage and stunning your enemy at a cheap power cost. This is pretty much a mandatory have to have if you are super speed. Get it. Okay. Um, Psycho Punch, Cyclone Push, Tornado Pull, they're pretty good. Um, tornado Pull does a lot of single target damage. Um, phase Dodge, always kind of funny when you are PvP and using it, so 
that's just on you. And then I got all the athletic powers as well, just test different things now. Play around with PvP, etc. Now, when it comes to skill points, we over here utilize the buffs. Um, if you don't know what the buffs are, buffs are pretty much when you go into an instant and you ready up, right? You get buffed or, you know, left alone, depending on where you're on, your skill points, your gear, etc. So, because DC is kind of, I won't call it glitch, but the mechanic of it right now is the buff gives you more of the particular stat than the actual, than you just maxing it out in your skill points, right? So, I stop at 100 on every of the bottom two rows. So, precision, retro, light, dominant, health, my power, whatever one it is, stop at 100. Because after 100, you're losing out. You know, you'll go over and then you'll basically lose out an amount of rest, so precision, whatever. It's by a pretty decent margin. So, you know, we're trying to, you know, get the best we can over around here. But go ahead and definitely max out your crits, um, your magnitude, and chances. So if I do do healing and damage on this, because you know, PvP, I go ahead and get both, max both those out, because I have my skill points. Stay mm -hmm. super power focused, because that power regeneration is so clutch in PvP, where power is pretty much king. You got enough power, you pretty much control it, I don't people, for the most part. Um, so once again, we stop at 100 resto, healing wise, pursuit. Stop at 100 precision, it's PvP, you're gonna use your weapon. Um, stop at 100 and might and power, it's PvP, power and might, you know, your damage and ability. And I got 85 and health. Now the reason I do 85, right, because you get the buff on two different kind of brackets. You get on a 5% on, uh, well, not 5%. You get it on the 5 skill points, you know, increments, and you get on the 10 skill point increments. So 10, 20, 30, 40 increments or 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 increment, okay? So it's really just five, but just to make it more simple, you want to do the math. But, um, so I stopped at 85. I do have three extra skill points, but I'm not gonna put it in there, just so I can take advantage of that buff, okay? But on to the loadout. For the loadout, my healing side, um, I have a couple of variants, and I will get into them in just a sec, okay? For the most part, enemies arc lightning, great stun, amazing move, does good healing, is able to you know zip zap around everybody, okay, and it's pretty low power cost, and it comes up pretty quick too. Electro burst, a lot of people sleep on electro burst. Electro burst hits hard as crap and heals pretty decent, okay. So I'm gonna keep that in there for right now. A lot of people sleep on it. Vortex trap, yes. As a healer, I do have Vortex Trap in just because it's that good. If you're caught without use of Vortex Trap, 9 times out of 10, they're going to kill you. Just because you can't inflict that much damage on them like that. Okay? Because you think your weapon master, you're going to, you know, keep going and whatnot. They're going to counter you, whatever the case may be, different powers. Unless you're like mental or reflect pain, I don't know. But so, pretty much use Vortex Trap, it's pretty much a requirement. Electrogenesis is nice seal over time. You and your ally, especially if you run other duos or whatever. Nice seal over time, okay. You know, we gotta have that flux in there. Push them away from us, get that little control effect so they waste more power and we get over them, that little advantage. And you know, shield, we are healers and usable our control so you can save yourself so you can die. And then I incorporate hard light shield a lot, but the reason why I have that the last slide as well because most times you do realize in my loadout videos, a lot of times the triangle, same as on my last slot, my sixth slot there, I'll have for superchargers. So I will pretty much keep hard light shield in here till I do, you know, hit him enough times to get supercharged. More than likely I'm gonna use pheromone bloom, but if I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot of stuns and things of that nature, I'm using metabolic boost just because it breaks me control. Breaks me free of control effects and it heals me as well, okay? Um, now, if I am just trying to inflict more damage, I don't need the extra shield. I don't you know, realize more, well, really, it's not more power per se. And Harlot Shield Can is one of the best shields in the game. Um, but if I'm just trying to do more damage, I'll go ahead and put Tesla Ball in there, okay? To be honest, if I need a bit more healing for myself and the team, 
I might just put a biology surgeon there. Okay. So that's pretty much it for healing. It's really um situational on what which what and who you are going against. Okay, so what in terms of what roles, um controller, tank, DPS, another healer, whatever, and um who, like who are they actually, how skilled are they and things of that nature. So you just gotta be cautious and aware of your situation. Hey, wait, Troy, I'm about to log off. I'm too tired. What's up? I'm about to log off. Alright, Jingle. I see ya. I'll talk to you later, man. Alright, you too. Alright, but look, we ain't going to damage side loadout real quick. It's pretty similar. And we're going to utilize a lot of power to people sleep on. So, Arc Lightning, amazing ability, and electrifies the enemies. So, it's going to set us up for a test ball right here. Arc Lightning also heals us and our allies when it is used. So, that's great if you need to get a little extra healing pushed out there. Tesla ball stuns the crap out of everybody. It's so amazing. It hits so many times. It's going to keep stunning them over and over again. And it generates a lot of supercharge. So, it's just phenomenal. Now, Tesla Blast, a lot of people sleep on this. 100 power across, so cheap power, you pretty much spam it. It does a lot of damage. And the fact that it plays off the electrified enemies does a marginal increase in it. So it's always great to have. Okay? These three are pretty much your bread and butter when it comes to electric. Vortex Trap, bread and butter for any power, in all powers. Okay? So definitely utilize that. And these four pretty much be your main stuff. Okay? For the most part, Hard Light Shield is technically, that's how you look at it. It's a better shield in terms of like, Preventing as much damage, but flux does also have that repel like Repels enemies from you so it can get that little control effect going too. Now a lot of people um, Talk to me about using wired and things of that nature wire costs 300 power So it's like using hard light shield which in PvP is a lot because you don't have that much power as you saw on my stats so it's hard to maintain too just cuz the amount of power cost it has and like when you're in PvP, the frequency that you use it, like if you're trying to utilize this and then use your weapon, do a quick combo and it hits some light powers too, you're gonna end it up, you're gonna end up pretty much like, as it's wasting your power. Your I personally feel like you're better off doing your playstyle, of course. So it is subject to change on that. But for the most part, with my playstyle, I'm pretty much better off utilizing a lot of my powers and sneaking weapon combos in there. And pretty much using a lot of my weapon at times too, but I don't see the buff of it that um, important, I guess, over or take priority over a lot of these powers in here now. Um, I might switch out like hard light shield. Me, I, I like flux more. Plus, that's a shorter cooldown. Um, but I might switch out hard light shield if I'm trying to use the bomb. Maybe that's always a good one. Or really, the electro burst. So it still heals you and it still does a lot of damage. A lot of people sleep on this power. It's very powerful power. It's AOE power. It's just amazing. Okay. So definitely utilize that. So Electro Burst or the Bomb would probably be my go to ones to switch out for here. Um, definitely Pheromone Bloom if you're trying to just do straight damage and get some healing from it. Um, if you're stuck in your troll effects, once again, Metabolic Boost too. Speed drain if you want to slow your enemies so you know like you trap them closer to you so they can't run away per se. Uh, circuit breaker, you can always use that if you're just trying to like push out a lot of damage real quick. Mega Volt even will probably be decent in some scenarios. Um, invigorate or group transducer. If you have this hundred if you basically have ten thousand supercharge, hey. Most people won't expect you to pop one of these. I'm gonna let you know right now. So when you do, it's gonna be like pretty much a guaranteed kill. As long as you can follow up with it and follow through with it. Okay, but that's all I got, man, for the video. In the future, I will be doing some um, PvP contests, dueling, tournaments, um, things of that nature. I might even do some streams where we can all PvP together, go in there as a group. So we're able to get a lot of these feats. Kind of, not a lot of people play PvP right now, but there is still a good chunk of DCO players still play PvP, okay? PvP is not the greatest situation and the greatest stance or standing, per se, if you want to call it that. Right now, but hey, look, there's still feats attached to it, so we're gonna keep grinding it out little by little, okay? Well, look, stay tuned for the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video out, please and thank you if you rock with me, if you support me, you love me, whatever the case may be. 
But look, that's about all I got for this video right here. Stay tuned in for more. Turn on the bell if you want to get all the notification drops off on your little inbox and notification box, whatever the case may be. And that's about it, man. Shalom.